And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's Gillingham taking on Colchester United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number 14, Robbie McKenzie. Number 21, Hakeem Adeyemi. Number 21, Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're playing in a 4 5 1 formation, which is set up to counter attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And they kick off here. And he's through here. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Now, how about the short corner? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Well, I'm not surprised by their lack of goals. Their approach play is far too predictable. It lacks invention and goal. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. Oh, magnificent reaction. Eccentric goalkeeping. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. But a shocking pass, really. Plenty of support here. And I think, unfortunately for him, the less said about that attempt, the better. Well, he had a lot of options there, but he's chosen the wrong one. That was a poor effort. Couldn't hang on to it. A corner will ensue. Keen to take it short here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Growing pressure here and another corner. Short corner it is. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. He's lost it. Routine, really. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Well, possession seeded. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Oh, the keeper at fault. 
And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. Well taken away, he won the ball. Now, who can he play it to? Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. So, making the substitution now. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Well, very effective play in possession. Gives it a go, and the post denied him. Not out of the woods yet, and a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Chance to cross. Just the challenge that was required. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. And half-time it is. An acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the home side. They're on top, Stuart. Well, we... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, a good tackle. And possession lost, intercepted. Well, he passed the power test. Shame about the accuracy. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. They've lost it. A corner will ensue. Playing it short. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Keen to take it short here. Really vital interception. Getting forward. Well, it came to nothing in the end. a shame that he couldn't find the target from there in position oh a goal they've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper well here we can see it again and it doesn't get any better does it that's just sloppy from the goalkeeper that's a terrible goal to give away this is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Oh, yes! You cannot strike them any better than that! Brilliant goal! 
Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Gives it a go. Pretty simple for the keeper. Well timed tackle. That's useful play. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And Morris has it now. And the ball's gone. Oh, breezing past him. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Trying to deliver it accurately. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Now oh, they've given him too much space. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And they do like to press whenever they can. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And so into the final five minutes. He's given it straight to the opposition. Adela Kuhn. Superb block. Really closing him down. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, in the final analysis, perhaps it wasn't the high percentage option. Yeah, not the best effort, to be fair. It did open up for him. He did have the space, but he just seemed to snatch at the shot. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, we spoke about their lack of goals before the game, but today they looked a completely different team. They got players into advanced areas, they got crosses into the box, and they did it all with pace. That was a good display.